Hello everyone, today is a new day, new life, new beginning, and new lesson. So our lesson for today is about how to get the measures of angles formed by second and tangent. So we have here some examples. So for our example number one, uh, two seconds that intersect inside the circle. So, we have here two given the intercepted arc. We have 40 and 50. And we have angle X. So, how do we get the value of angle X? Okay. So, the measure of an angle formed by two seconds intersecting within a circle. Okay. In here, inside equals one half the sum of the measures of intercepted arc. So I'll repeat, the measure of an angle formed by two seconds intersecting within a circle equals one half the sum of the intercepted arc. Okay, so we will do number one. So we have angle, the measurement of angle X is equal to one half the measurement of angle, the intercepted arc, uh, arc 50 and arc 40, their intercepted arc. So that is our equation. Then... Let's simplify. So, angle X is equal to 1 half 50 plus 40. We have 90. So, 1 half of 90. So, X now is equal to 1 half of 90 or 90 divided by 2. So, we have 45. So, angle X is equal to 45 degrees. Got it? Okay. So, the same with our example number 3. The equation is the same. How? So, let's start. We have angle X is equal to the measurement or one half the measurement, I should say. Okay. So, we have 25 plus arc 75 then angle x is equal to one half 25 plus 75 we have 100 so angle x is equal to 100 over 2 so x now is equal to 100 divided by 2 we have 50 therefore our angle X and angle J here is equal to 50. Okay? Got it? Okay, next, how about our example number 2? So, in our example number 2, if you notice, it is the um, in, uh, example of tangent. So, if two tangent intersect in a circle... So, rules, the measure of an angle, this one, formed by two seconds or two tangent intersecting outside a circle equals one half the difference of the measure of their intercepted arc. So, the difference between x and 130. So, how? So, we have measurement of angle... 50, this one, is equal to one half the measurement of the difference of x, arc x, minus arc 130. Next, so we have <coughs> angle, uh, angle 50 is equal to one half x minus 130. 
So, 50 is equal to 30. X minus 130 over 2. So, this is over 1. We will do cross multiplication. So, 50 times 2, we have 100 is equal to 1 times x. x, 1 times 130 is still 130. Then, next, x is equal to, so this is 100. Let's move 130 to the other side. So, negative becomes positive. Then, we have 130. So, x now is equal to 100 plus 130 is equal to 200. 30. Okay? Therefore, this is 230. So, how do we check if our answer is correct? So, remember the whole circle is 360. So, 230 plus 130 is equal to 360. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Okay? So, that's how to compute the angles and arcs of seconds and tangent. I'll repeat, that's how to get the measures of angles formed by seconds and tangent. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching. Keep safe. Bye!